Hi, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a summer dress slash bikini haul from Cupshe. Now, this is a brand that reached out to me asking if they could kindly give me some items. I went to look on the website. I just fell in love with so many of their items. So yeah, thank you so much for sending these pieces. I'm going to be doing a try on haul for you like I usually do so that we can see how the items fit and the quality. And yeah, if you'd like to see that, then please carry on watching. Also just wanted to say that I'm a brunette now. <laughs> and again, <laughs> this is actually more similar to my natural hair colour, but I feel like it's so dramatic because I was blonde before and I just went straight to brunette and also cut off quite a chunk of hair. But um, yeah, I'm really liking it at the moment. It's a little bit shorter than I wanted. I don't think my hair has ever been healthier. <laughs> I just think it looks a lot more natural on me probably because it is more like my natural hair colour but um yeah it's just I feel like this is going to be a lot easier to maintain than the blonde as well so I'm looking forward to that. So I thought I would start off with the swimsuits first because I'm pretty sure cup sheet are kind of more well known for their bikinis and swimwear and there were two that I picked out. This was the first one which I just thought looked so adorable. It's still quite like modest. I think both the swimsuits I picked are quite modest but I just thought this one was so cute and kind of like, I don't know, I feel like blue and white striped bikinis kind of look a bit like vintage swimwear. Maybe that's just me, that's kind of like the vibes I get. This one is beautiful. I love it so much. I will put the sizes in the description that I got. I'm pretty sure I got the smallest size, if not the size up. This one honestly fits so nicely. I'm so glad I picked the right size. This is the back, so it kind of just crosses over. Yeah, I just love the colours of this one. I can definitely see myself wearing this. I just feel really comfortable in it. It just feels like a really good quality. I just love this design. I just think it's really nice and simplistic, but not too basic. Okay, so this is the second swimsuit, and I didn't think it'd be possible to like one more than the other one. I thought, this one is perfect. I'm probably not gonna like the other one as much. How cute is this? I think it's absolutely adorable. I'm not usually one for like cutouts. I feel like when it comes to swimwear, I kind of like to be covered up. Like I want it to be cute, but I want to be covered up. So I was unsure about this little cutout. I think it does look really cute and super flattering. I just wanted like a plain black swimsuit, you know, but I just love that with all these kind of like frills. I don't know what you call these. But this kind of like pattern, I just thought was adorable. It's kind of more textured than the previous one. The previous one was just like that classic swimsuit material, whereas this one, is like a textured fabric, which is quite nice. Um, I just love, again, like I said with the other one, it's so simple, but just the small amount of detail is just so cute. Show the back as well. Um, I think you can actually undo this bit, but I didn't need to just get it on. So yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this one. I actually cannot decide which one I prefer. I cannot wait to wear both of them. So we've then got six dresses to try on because I was just in awe of all of their dresses on their website and this is the first one. I'm not usually one for patterns or floral or really anything that isn't a solid colour which you'll see that I've kind of strayed from that a little bit in this haul. I'm sorry, look at the details of this dress. Is it not screaming, going strawberry picking, having a little cute picnic in the park and a little slit? I'm obsessed. It's kind of that like silky chiffon material so very like light and airy, perfect for the summer and it just like ties on the straps here so you can tie them as tight or as loose as you like so as you can see it kind of has like cups where your boobs are so when i first put the dress on they were a bit too high so i just adjusted the straps so that it was a little bit lower and that worked perfectly i think the length is lovely it's kind of like yeah it's kind of like a midi length and yeah i'll just show you the back i just think oh, imagine going to like a little garden party in this I would like to say wedding dress material, but obviously it is a white dress, so probably not for a wedding. A little garden party or summer party, I think this would be perfect for, and I love it. Okay, so this is the next dress. I was really unsure whether to order this or not, because half of me was like, it looks like the most beautiful dress, and the other half was like, that neckline. <laughs> As you can see, it's got a very plunging neckline. However, I thought because of like the tears, the length of the dress and all the other details, I think it kind of, I felt like it softened the neckline. And I think I'm right. You can tell me if you think I'm wrong. I think this dress is still cute. I think it still gives off cute vibes, um, which is always what I go for. Um, so even though it has got this plunging neckline, 
I feel like it does depend on the occasion. I feel like if it was like a really hot day, a summer picnic and stuff, I still think I'd feel comfortable in this. And I really like the way that you can tie it. So basically I'll show you the back. You tie it at the neck and then what's really amazing is you think you'd worry about there being, you know, gappiness here, but this string goes all the way through the dress and you pull it and you tie it at the back. So it is literally, it could not be tighter to my chest, which just makes me feel so secure. I think it's an amazing design. And also I just cannot shy away from a tiered shirt, like maxi dress. They're just one of like my favorite style dresses in the summer. So yeah, it does need a little bit of an iron. I'll give you that. But I do think this dress is adorable. A little bit out of my comfort zone, but I feel like for a really hot day or maybe on holiday, this possibly could be a really cute holiday dress as well. But I actually think it's really lovely. Right, this is the next dress. And I think it's even cuter in person than it looked online because I'm just a little bit obsessed with it. I've just been really loving these black and white kind of oversized summer dresses that don't necessarily give you the best shape or show off all your curves but they're kind of just a bit more flouncy <laughs> um, and I really like that so yes like I said before I really like these kind of tiered maxi dresses and this one with like the black like fluttery sleeves I don't know what kind of sleeves you call these I'm gonna call them fluttery yes it's kind of this like mesh it's double layered so you've got this silky material and then this mesh polka dot material on top yeah it just fits perfectly honestly if anything maybe the actually no i don't think they are at first i thought the sleeves were maybe a little bit loose but i don't think so that is the back but i've honestly been living in dresses like this recently so the fact this has come i actually didn't say the top of this is like a stretchy ruche material as well so it fits really nice to the chest but i can just tell i'm gonna be living in this and i also feel like this would be a nice dress that could be dressed up as well because even though it is quite casual i feel like with a pair of heels this could easily be dressed up as well so yeah i love this one also sorry quick thing i just realized that you could put the sleeves like this and i kind of love it <laughs> so for this dress i was honestly just thinking the most simple basic dress that you can wear every day when it's like super hot like in a heat wave you can just sort of throw this on again this is a white tiered shirt dress i feel like it is the same material as the other white shirt dress but obviously it's just a little bit more basic a little bit more classic the thing that kind of made me the thing that made me want this the most was the back so as you can see there's the little bow detail which i just thought was adorable anything with a bow i get immediately drawn to so yeah that was kind of the seller for me, the bow detail on the back. But I also just thought, like I said, this would just be the easiest summer dress to wear. Like, days you don't know what to wear, I could just throw this on. So, yeah, it's also just really nice and light and airy, so it'll keep you super cool. So this is the next dress. And when I saw this one online, I honestly just thought it looked like such a dupe for one of like the Reformation dresses. I just mean one of like the really simple black dresses that you see. And so this is a maxi, so it's like literally all the way down to my feet. Um, and again, it's like kind of like silky chiffon material and it's beautiful. Such a good quality, it's double lined, so it's not see-through at all. And it's just so slinky and just fits perfectly to your body. It's got a little zip up at the back, it just looks like that. But honestly, this is just like the perfect, I was about to say little black dress, long black dress, <laughs> but an evening out. I don't know if you could really wear this casually, it just is very dressy. But I do just think with a pair of little kitten heels, this would look adorable. So yeah, it's also just kind of like the perfect length. Like it's just about not dragging on the floor. So yeah, really nothing but to say about this one. It is beautiful. And last but not least, we have this dress, which actually is the same as the first one that I showed you. Kind of garden party floral one at the start. It is literally the exact same. However, I found one difference between that one and this one, which is that it seems to be like the slit is like slightly different. I'm pretty sure there's a little bit more ruching around the middle. I'm pretty sure that wasn't on the first one. Anyway, I do really like this one. I'm not gonna lie, I do prefer the first one that I tried on. It's just a little bit more me and my kind of colour aesthetic. This one is definitely very out there for me, but I wanted to pick it up because I wanted to have a little bit of colour in this haul. Plus, if I was to wear a bit more colour, this is something I would wear if I was like going to a party 
or celebration or anything. I do think this is really beautiful. I do get drawn to like blue and white because I just think it looks so Dior. <laughs> yeah, this one is just as beautiful. I'll show you the back again. So you just tie the straps on the shoulders again. I do love like how adjustable all these dresses are. Like you can pretty much tie all of the sleeves to your liking so that you're not going to have like anything loose or too tight which is amazing and with this one as well there's a little bit of like ruching at the back which basically means it's, there's like a little bit of room for movement but yeah i love this again a nice little midi dress yeah obviously i've loved all these dresses in this fall this is probably my least favorite just simply use per wear I'd be more likely to wear the other ones more daily rather than this one. So there we go, that is the end of this haul. Thank you so much to Cupshe for sending me these pieces. Honestly, I've been kind of blown away by the quality and designs of all of these pieces. And I thought I would love the dresses way more than the swimwear. Like I wasn't expecting to love the swimwear as much as I did. So yeah, I'm really excited to wear those as well. I'm not too sure if they gave me a discount code for you to use, I'm pretty sure they did. So if they did, I will leave it on the screen down below for you um, and I'll put it in the description box as well. But yeah, I will leave all the links to these pieces in the description box down below. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!